We're chilling in a park that's just down the street from our place. It's called Lindsay Park. We're just hanging out, having a little drink, and then we're going to go for a nice little birthday dinner. Drink of water. At a so place. Like a... Okay. <laughs> we're gonna go to a restaurant called Carino, which is a Italian-Japanese fusion restaurant in an area in Calgary called Mission. So we're gonna go have some delicious dinner, and then I don't really know what we're gonna do after, but let's, I don't know go check some things out and then we'll head off to Ottawa after that. So we're in Ottawa. This is where I am from. I did grow up in between Ottawa and Toronto for a lot of my younger years, but during my like preteen and teen years, Ottawa was what I called home. So we're back. We're visiting some family. We're visiting some friends, seeing a lot of the beautiful fall colors this time of year. Head and go around Ottawa. I'll show you some sights. Tonight I'm meeting up with my friend and we are going to a place called Three Brewers in Canada. We're gonna grab some food, we're gonna grab some beers. There are a couple of breweries that are in the area I'm in right now. I'm just outside of an area called Perth. Let's go ahead and let's just do some stuff. Bye, Town on Spark Street at Poutine Fest. We're gonna grab some poutine, just walk around, go to Parliament, check out some sites, and just, I don't know, like see what's up. And then later on today, I think we're going to check out a few breweries and see how those are, a few craft breweries that are a little bit outside of Ottawa. So let's go. Hey guys, so I am currently in a hotel that's really close to the Ottawa airport. I just wanted to go over what I've been up to the last couple days. I didn't have too much energy or like chance to really vlog while I was out and about. This morning I was not feeling very good. Like my throat was really, really sore and really swollen. And that happens to me like pretty frequently. I'd say maybe once a month I get like a really sore throat if it's like really dry out or something like that. So I was feeling really crappy. I uh, decided to just go ahead and take a COVID test just to make sure that I wasn't like endangering anybody else. And every time I've done it in the past, it's always been negative. This morning ends up being positive. So I took two tests back to back. It turns out they're both positive. So I guess I have COVID and I've avoided it for this long. So it kind of sucks. I'm just feeling like I have a little bit of a cold. It's nothing too serious. I did get both booster shots. So I have four vaccines. So I'm hoping it's just not gonna stick around very long. I'm not gonna get too sick from it. Yeah, so not really the best end to this little trip back to Ottawa, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me on this vlog style trip. 
And as usual, because I do a lot of finance videos, I do want to talk about what I have spent so far here. And it's a little bit different this time because I split between like a hotel and staying with family. The hotel that I'm at right now was like a last minute booking because I did end up getting sick. I didn't want to stay with my family and potentially get them sick as soon as I found out. So I ended up booking this place last minute. So I was really only here for three nights when I flew in, it was midnight, but that obviously doesn't count as a night, but we did end up staying in a hotel that night. And my mom and I, my mom has moved back. So we stayed in a hotel the first night just because we got in so late and the people that we know live like really far away from the airport. So it was 180 bucks for the first night. My flights were covered by points, but the equivalent to that was about $300 round trip, which is really good for going from like Calgary to Ottawa, like that distance almost across the country. My grandparents were also kind enough to lend me their second vehicle to use while I was here. So I didn't have to pay for any kind of transportation except for the first night where I paid for an Uber like from the airport to the hotel and that was 20 bucks. And yesterday I ended up putting 60 bucks of gas into their vehicle because I was driving around quite a bit. And then I've spent about a hundred dollars on food and going out since I've been here. And the hotel that I'm in right now, because it was like a last minute booking, it cost $230. So I've spent about $450, not including the flights because I paid for those in points for three nights here. And I definitely would have been able to do it cheaper had my flights been like not so late at night. And if I didn't get sick, I probably could have came on like $200 out of pocket just for paying for like entertainment and food and stuff like that. And I think it's important that if you like to travel, that you have some kind of credit card that will get you points so that you can get cheap flights and just keep your eye out on when those flights go down if you wanted to go somewhere like really specific. So thanks guys for joining me on this video. I do really appreciate you guys watching and being a little bit more patient with me right now with going through a few things with family and such that I'm not posting as frequently as I would like to be. I'm hoping that I can start to ramp up in the next few months as things kind of settle down and maybe just chat a bit more about that. We all know life can kind of take you through a loop when you least expect it and things don't always go according to plan. So thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.